What's going on? Today we're going to talk about how Outbound Squad uses magical AI to do two things. One, how we get meetings set through cold emails, and two, how I save a ton of time when I'm prospecting, reaching out within accounts and prospects to land meetings. So before we get into it, my name is Jason Bay. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Outbound Squad. We provide sales training to some of the top sales teams in SaaS, companies like Gong, Rippling, Zoom, Medallia, and many others. So let's kind of cut to the chase here. I think with cold email, what can be really hard, especially with the reps that I train, if I'm thinking about account executives, you know, you're spending most of your time selling and you maybe have an hour, two hours a day tops for pipeline generation. So that's gonna include cold calling, cold emailing, finding accounts to reach out to, finding the right person, etc. One of the things that you don't have a lot of time to do is just sitting at your computer, spending 20, 30 minutes to write one email. So what I wanna share with you here in a second is some starter packs and templates that really get you like 80, 90% of the way there so that you have a good starting point and then you can fill in and customize. So let's take a look at what those magic packs look like. Okay, so I have my Gmail open here. So one of the things that I love about Magical is with a quick shortcut like this, I can store a bunch of templates to help me get started with writing emails. And as I'm doing this, what you'll notice is they have a very templated fill in the blank version. There's an example of what a real email looks like. And what I would recommend using Magical for is taking your customized templates that you build and then creating shortcuts for them so that you can easily access them. So basic template works a lot like this. So one of the things you'll notice when you pull this in is if I had an email address in here or I had a LinkedIn profile opened up, it'll automatically start to populate merge tags and things like that with people's names. I don't have that here, so I'm just going to show you this. The email framework looks a lot like this, and I'll kind of reverse engineer this email. This is for a client that I worked with that sold into clinical operations. So they sell a solution that helps these clinical operations professionals with these medical devices get their product to market by running studies and quickly gathering people into these studies to shorten what they call the timeline. The startup timeline is the time that a study starts to the time that it finishes so that you can get a result and an outcome that you can publish on your website and say our product works and it's backed by science. So the first sentence here is an observation. Ideally you want that to be personalized. Second sentence here is hey when people launch these clinical trials they typically run into these problems. So it's a problem statement. Third statement is some sort of social proof. Social proof could be specific companies that you've worked with. It could be the results that you could get, etc., and then you have your CTA. So each of these magic packs has a, hey, fill in the blank. And if you look through some of these other ones, I'll show you, there's a bunch of other styles of the reply method. So there's different variations of these templates that are pretty cool. So that's one way that I use magical. Again, the takeaway here is, are there repetitive things that you put in emails, formats of the email, something that you can get started with 80% of the copy so that you're filling in the blanks and spending a few minutes customizing something versus writing something from scratch every single time. The second thing that I want to show you with Magical that I really like is the use of quick copy and paste snippets for customer stories. The data supports that when we talk about customer stories and similar customers that we've done work with, our win rates are going to be much higher than if we focus on ROI. So if we're sharing numbers and we did this and we did that and they increased conversion rates by X percent or whatever it might be, that's a lot less compelling. Those numbers are a lot less believable than the customer stories that we can share. Now, the problem is you know, if you're selling into multiple industries, into multiple types of personas, how do you remember all of these customer stories? And second, do I have an easy way to plug and play these into emails? So one of the things I like to do is let's say that I'm reaching out to a sales leader. So this is where I want to talk about other companies that I've worked with. And this is where I love having little email snippets like this. I'm going to use this one from Brooksource and I can quickly pull up the customer story and then repurpose it. Um, we recently helped Brooksource is 180 plus AEs. If this is a template that I find myself using quite a bit, I'm actually going to save this in Magical so that I can copy and paste and quickly customize for other prospects. But what I love here is I have these little email snippets that I can pull out for any type of situation to drop into an email. So that's how I use Magical. What I would recommend that you do, Magical's free, go download it. You can get access to my reply method, email starter pack. And the second thing that I would do is take your customer stories and common use cases and create a bank of copy and paste snippets that you can drop into cold emails, sales follow-up emails, LinkedIn messages, etc. That's how we use Magical AI at Outbound Squad. I hope you could check it out. We'll see ya.